Duck took some trucks to Edward Station. Hell no, called Edward. That famous engine came through this morning. He whistled to me. Wasn't he kind? He's the finest engine in the world, replied Duck. Then he told Edward what Gordon had said. Take no notice, soothed Edward. He's just jealous. Look, he's coming now. Gordon's wheels pounded the rails. He did it, I'll do it. He did it, I'll do it. Gordon's train rocketed past and was gone. He'll knock himself to bits, chuckled Duck. Steady, Gordon, called his driver. We are running a race. We are, then, said Gordon. But he said it to himself. Suddenly, Gordon began to feel a little strange. The top of my boiler seems funny, he thought. It feels as if something is loose. I'd better go slower. But it was too late. On the viaduct, they met the wind. It was a teasing wind which blew suddenly in hard puffs. Gordon thought it wanted to push him off the bridge. No, you don't, he said firmly. But the wind had other ideas. It curled around his boiler, crept under his loose dome, and lifted it off and away into the valley below. Gordon was most uncomfortable. The cold wind was whistling through the hole where his dome should be, and he felt silly without it. 